Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Player's Choice, episode number three for our Flex Show. I'm Jason Bobshaw, the winner of Player's Choice Sports Cards in Kelowna, BC. Um, we've been doing the show. This is the third episode. We did our Grexky show, which was a lot of fun with a bunch of rookie cards and stuff like that. We did our first uh, entry level episode where we showed like a lot of high end fun stuff. And today we're actually going to specialize on cut autographs. Uh, contracts, stuff like that. Uh, you'll see a lot of them on the marketplace right now where people are making their own card. Uh, some of them are like copies of cards and stuff like that. The ones I like are the ones where they actually take the autographs out of the items and uh, like out of the check or something like that and put it in the card. For example, here's a super cool, if you look up here, this is a Maurice Richard fishing contract. Maurice owned a, a company um, back in Quebec. It was a fishing company. This one's actually got four Maurice Richard autographs on it. It's from 1969. It's a super cool piece, but the sad reality about this piece is it'll be cut up. The autographs will be put into cards or to frame pieces and stuff like that. It's just the way our memorabilia and our industry is gone. Uh, some people like to keep stuff like this. This is a neat one though, because it has the five autographs um, from his, his fishing company. So it, it's tough to keep it solid when you can sell it and get more money. For the items there's also this this is a really neat one this is pb reese and dizzy dean uh super old cool baseball piece uh those two guys are are often seen together um so that one might actually be cut together and used in like a dual signed card um here's a whitey ford there's a whitey ford autograph on this um see sometimes when you get like a star player like that they'll take it and cut just for the one guy much like this one here this is an old program and if it doesn't look like much to the naked eye, but if you actually turn it around, you can see a Tim Horton autograph on the front cover there. So it's an upside down autograph that might not mean much to the person in like a Vancouver Canucks program, but what they'll do is they'll cut that out and put it in an awesome card. What I mean by awesome cards are stuff like this, like they're fully custom cards. I'll put it in the thing here and show you guys a little closer. This is a Frank Selke autograph card. So you can see that there, they'll take the autograph and they'll make a card around it. So it's a super neat um, project that they'll do. Like here's a Frank Selke card, again, for the defensive player. Um, this is a customer set that he's lent us. He's actually working on a cut autograph from every person from the trophy. So you can guess I've got a couple of pretty cool ones here. Um, so you can see the autograph that have been cut in there. Doesn't that look much better than just an old piece of white paper or a program or something like that? Here's the Frank Selkie. We'll put the Frank Selkie in there. Give you guys a look at that. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Norris Trophy. So, of course, for the best defenseman in the league, uh, James Norris. This one, actually, if you look really close, this one's been cut out of a check. So you can see the bottom line there. It's uh, It's been cut right out of a check or a, or a contract. Whoops, dropping the stand here. Hopefully we get that there to show up for you. Um, you could see where, where it's been on the, uh, on a check or a book. Oh, I forgot to show you. When I say book, like here's a Ken Dryden book. He's a really tough signature. He does sign a lot of these books so you can get his autograph in the book. So unfortunately, as much as somebody would like this Ken Dryden autograph book in their collection, what's going to happen is that autograph is going to be cut out of there and it'll be turned into one of these cards. Uh, we deal a lot more with the card collectors than we do um you know the memorabilia collectors this is a cool one this is uh lester patrick this is uh the you know, the patrick trophy award lester patrick trophy award for his contributions towards hockey so this is again a cool one out of our customer set he's building for the whole trophy set everybody loves the nhl trophies and the stories and where they've come from um they're super cool we've got we'll probably have an update on with you guys on some of these ones as we've been building this set for a while and some as you can imagine are super hard to find uh some don't don't show up all the time this is a neat one uh this is a clarence campbell of course for the campbell trophy for best in the west the western team going to the stanley cup final you can see see how it's a little bit shaky there that's near like the end of his career before he passed lots of these guys you can tell like i love the autograph so much because you can tell probably where it was in their life by how solid the autograph is or how shaky or what what it's on and some of these guys have really changed their autograph like even Gretzky in the early 80s his autograph was a lot different than the autograph you would see today um really there's collectors out there that'll keep like autographs from all those different years 
and generations. So it is pretty neat to see. Um, this one is pretty cool. This is the Art Ross trophy. You don't see an Art Ross autograph too often. Too, too often. This is for, of course, the most points in the NHL. Look how dark that is and clean that autograph. It must have come out of, I don't know. When you get them JS8 and PS8, unfortunately, they don't tell you what they're from. It's too bad they didn't say, oh, it's from a check or a contract or something like this. But this would have been on maybe even an important document. I remember one time we had a Howie Moran signed golf contract uh, that he was doing. Uh, he was a player, NHL player in a, in a, a golf uh, tournament. And unfortunately, we sold that. So some lucky person's got that out there. This is the coolest one for me for the hockey for right now. We do have one better than this, believe it or not, in the set. I'll leave some of you guys to guess who it is. I can't show it right now. We're working on the paperwork for it. Um, but this is a super cool one, Lord Stanley. So an actual Lord Stanley autograph. Um, he had such a cool long signature. I'll put it out here so you guys can see it. Of course, just any fan of hockey or the game will appreciate all the the heritage and history in, a, in an autograph like that from Lord Stanley. It's a super cool piece. They don't come around too often. Uh, this one, we had to jump on it when we did. We bought it. It was a, on a contract, and we got it cut out and built into the card for our customer. He just had to have it. It's a super cool piece. Um, Lord Stanley's actually got a couple different autographs you'll see out in the market. There's a shorter one that we had to look for to fit in this card. And then he's actually got a, a longer one out there that we would have had to do like a tall boys or, or a taller card. So we decided to go with the short print. So it's a super cool card. Again, I really like this. I wish it was mine. Uh, just a really neat piece. Um, if you guys have got more questions or whatever about building your own cuts or your cards i've got some people that can help you set up a really neat one it doesn't cost you a ton of money if you've got the autograph if you're looking for a certain person to finish your collection we can definitely help you out for sure um on the non-hockey cut autos i thought these ones were super cool so i would show you guys um so the first one's a prince charles one of two Prince Charles one of two, and what would Prince Charles be? Well, back in maybe I don't maybe maybe not anymore, but Princess Di. So it's a Prince Charles and Princess Di. They're numbered one of two. They're super cool cards. You can tell they were cut out of like a Christmas card. I'll put uh, Prince Charles up first. Um, again, it doesn't always have to be sports with some of the stuff we have. We're getting more into the entertainment and, and the movie industry and, and stuff like that. That we just love the history of all of it. Uh, some of the presidential autographs and stuff we've seen through here have been just awesome. Um, I obviously like the Princess Di auto a little better than Princess Charles, or Princess Charles, Prince Charles. Sorry, Charles. Um, the Princess Di autograph, there can't be too many on the market. The, the royalty is not allowed to sell or to sign uh, any autographs. This is actually, you could tell, cut from a Christmas card. Uh, Leaf put it in a product called Pearl that's going to be out uh, early next year sometimes so there's all kinds of different autographs and stuff like that so again super cool prince charles and princess die autographs it's neat to see the set one of two together uh really neat unite unique item uh that's oh and i guess i could show you this when autographs are too big sometimes this is what people do they'll take it uh, like a put it on a postcard or a cut you can still get a psa or dna um this is like uh, a autograph card uh, an index card from Walter Payton. So a sweetness himself autograph. Somebody didn't want to cut it out and put it on anything. It's a pretty unique item. Uh, when you don't have something, sometimes when you meet a famous person, if you have an index card with you or a piece of paper or something, you can always turn it into a, a cool item for sure. Um, moving on, uh, we've got golf coming up in March. Upper Deck has just signed a new deal with... Uh, the PGA and there's golf and Tiger Woods and stuff. So I thought I'd show you two cool golf cards we have here. Uh, we've got the product uh, on our pre-order on our website, playerschoicesports.com. It's uh, all about our like the current golfers and the older players. So there's a, a unique mix from what we can tell. It's due out in March. It's going to be a super limited product. There's, of course, Tiger Woods autographs in there and Palmer autographs in there. There's all kinds of different ones. Here's two of our favorite ones that we have around here right now. Um, here's a dual autograph, Tiger Woods um, and Sergio, not Sergio Garcia, sorry. Uh, 
Rory McIlroy, dual autograph. This is a dual autograph from Exquisite Golf, the last time they made golf. This is out of five, super rare card. Again, Tiger's got such a nice autograph, and you don't see a lot of McIlroy autographs out there. It's a, a unique card for sure. That The fact that they got the two of them, the best thing about that is it's actually McIlroy's rookie year. So this is from his rookie year. It's been slabbed, and it's five of five. This is another neat one. It's a Tiger Woods, the Swish, uh, the Nike Swish. It's only got a graded seven. Those thick cards are super hard to get a solid grade. Just, they're just thick and tougher to see. But there's a Tiger Woods autographed. And again, everybody's getting into the, the golf mood and the, the Tiger and Palmer and Nicholas and all that stuff. It's all coming up again in March. So we're looking forward to that. And another product, I guess, that I'm really, really excited for. I don't know if you can see in the background or not is uh, we thought we'd put this up. Tim Hortons Hockey is out actually November 12th. It's hitting the stores. The checklist is up on the website right now at Cardboard Connection. So I know we've got so many people that watch the show that can't afford the super high-end stuff and the, the stuff we're kind of flexing and showing. But the Tim Hortons um, hockey product is super affordable. Take your kids out, have some fun, sit down, have a coffee, pick up some cards at the drive through and go to the park. Talk about some of the hockey players. I know there's a, a Grexy card apparently in it this year that uh, we're really looking forward to get. We build the set every year. We do the trades and stuff with breaks and boxes and have fun. So, again, go pick up some Tim Hortons cards. It'll be super fun. It's uh, made by our friends at Upper Deck. They do a really good job with it. That's probably all for this week. We're going to be back next week. We've got uh, Upper Deck Series 1 releasing. We've got the 30 years of Upper Deck in 30 minutes coming up on our special next week so make sure you tune in uh, if you want to see all those older young guns that you forgot maybe some that you didn't even know were out there some buybacks some canvases some graded ones we're gonna have a lot of cool young guns on hand for you next week uh, come back and check us out thank you see you later